Good morning. Boy, I have been chug-a-lugging my coffee this morning. I'm feeling so sleepy for some reason. I went to bed at seven. I don't know. I woke up at three. Okay, I, I, but let's, let's work that out. That's eight hours. So we're doing all right, but for about a week, I'm not sure if it's like the winter or what, but body has been wanting to sleep more. And uh, I've had a, a desire for a little bit of extra caffeine. What are you gonna do, eh? God, I, you know, there's just these little moments throughout the day that one can be ever so grateful. Uh, I had that moment recently. Uh, I mean, I was in my own probably vortex of stew, but I pondered an interaction or maybe something I noticed and I you know I wondered about how much time this person might spend just counting their blessings just feeling grateful for the things they do have right because that's I think an aspect of our conditioning is that we can just so easily start to go down a negative spiral and just stay looping in that spiral and <clears throat> speaking from experience like it can take a good long while to notice it for the first, for, to one, to notice it, like, whoa, look at this mental emotional pattern. And then two, to like slowly and consciously climb out of it, as in to stop doing it. And the stopping doing it isn't like trying to willpower yourself to not to do that thing. It's more of a shift of focus and a shift of perception that, that starts to slowly pick you out of a pattern that's anchored in a belief or anchored in a traumatic experience that just keeps replaying itself. So if we're not surrounded by that traumatic experience anymore, whenever the emotion gets triggered, whenever that stuff, we actually do have the power to hold space for ourselves and keep clearing the mental emotional burden that we're carrying. And eventually, it's sort of like heartbreak, isn't it? Or grief, eventually, day to day, you just notice you're feeling a bit better you're not being washed clean from inside your soul. That would, I, I don't know about you guys. Oh, let's have a light, fun, and sunshiny chat about heartbreak today. Um, heartbreak to me was uh, like that. Like it was a very profound, like, like your heart's breaking, like something's taking it away. And, and it does feel like a, a kind of, somehow like a washing clean from within like you're you're walking around like a zombie for a while or you're just going through the motions with this gaping aching heart <laughs> oh it's so fun so fun being a human isn't it you guys uh, although i would say because i i was i had a chat with a friend yesterday about stuff like this and um i would say at the same time it like it's like a badge of honor as a human you know, people want degrees and money and all this stuff. And I'm like, get your heart broken, yo. That That is going to refine your essences. And it does. It makes you, uh, I think, more whole. Uh, maybe less naive about things. You don't wish upon... I mean, I, I would hope most of us don't wish pain upon one another. And yet... What is life? What is this mystery? And... I would say a big part of the human story and condition and experience is that what we survive makes us stronger and maybe even better. You know, like if we're not gonna, if we're not harboring onto vengeful energies or hatred, I think that's a big part of it is like transforming until we're back in the peace and back in compassion and, and love and, you know, and, and all that jazz. Come on, guys. Flash him. Flash him. Fla jazz hands. Jazz hands. Okay. Let's chug back some more coffee. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Th thank you. Thank you, coffee. <laughs> and then let's let's pull some cards for this beautiful community. I just spot. That's okay. Uh, beautiful community of my heart, lover, supreme, divine guidance, and loving clarity for you guys. 
divine guidance and love and clarity for the ultra love tv collective for the ultra love collective This looks like the return, um, it's like something maybe is coming back round, but swords, swords, uh, king of swords, page of swords in the reverse. I need clarity. I need clarity on that. This feels to me like a, like some sort of separation. The Six of Cups is in the reverse, a return, but not really, or something. And then these swords. <sighs> okay, uh, I get a sense of like making moves, a lot of reflective time, do I, don't I, movement. Movement with regards to like actually uprooting yourself and moving somewhere different. Um, this could be uh, as light or as simple as maybe a family member is moving away, as in your your brother, and then the brother is taking your nephew or something. Uh, it could also be a difficult conversation being had. This is, by the way, with the King of Swords, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're... I, I, I feel like communication is actually really important. I'm not sure how good it's going. Like, I'm not sure how much communication or whether or not the communication is being communicated effectively. I... Because whatever the message is, you're like, mm. it's not like a heck yes right away. Um, star card, healing, Aquarius energy. Um, okay, so this might be... Um, So this could be somebody from the past that maybe there's healing with, okay? So somebody from your past who comes back around or we try to have a chat, doesn't quite work or whatever wants to be communicated isn't exactly maybe, or, or it's not clear. The message isn't clear. They're like, so you're like, hmm, interesting, more reflections going on. Star card would say that the situation has a potential for healing and thus integration. This is probably more than likely why it's Six of Cups energy, like a, a familial relation, a significant <clears throat> business or romantic love partnership from the past that is wanting to return but it's more about some sort of spiritual activation or healing star card. Maybe for some of you a wish fulfillment. So let's just get a few more cards for clarity. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if it is a wish fulfillment, that's just a wish fulfillment. I don't necessarily see, like, a new beginning here. I'm not seeing, like, yeah, something growing out of, uh, this communication. This cycle's over already. But healing is a central energy so if this is resonating with you there could be some communication from somebody from your past possibly a love and or familial connection and there might be a request to move or it's simply an offer worth 
thinking about, sitting with. But the healing, the star card is the central energy. So you're not, it's almost like for today, by the way, these are daily readings, January 3rd. What, what, January 3rd? Is that correct? Is it correct? Wednesday, January 3rd. For you right now, the focus is actually just, I'm going to be on, be on my own, heal, maybe go wish upon a star, pray. Only because in this specific constellation of energy, of these cards, I would say there's nothing for you to do. You don't even need to reply, you know, if somebody sent a message. Some of you might be going through a bit of an awakening, hence where you're like, hit. Eh? So, um, <clears throat> sit tight. Don't move until you're naturally prompted to move. Get plenty of rest and maybe like, you know, bath your bathe yourself clean yourself my lovers <laughs> um no this is like um just just going into nature uh be, feeling serene in connection to nature uh but indeed you know a salt bath that kind of thing um what's the word i'm i'm, I'm thinking but can't seem to vocalize or or actually hear in my mind it's not cocoon and it's not wrap, but I guess just luxuriate yourself um, and let yourself rest. Maybe do some healing. That's it for today, wowzers. The, <laughs> the energy just dropped right down at the end there. MJ maybe needs another sip of coffee. Hala shazam, you guys. I hope you have a magical Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace out. Feel free to check all the things for links. And you can, of course, um, book a, a reading privé anytime you would like. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, my loves.